Hey there guys, my name is Ruxby and welcome to another one-off. Today we're going to take a look at Stories, The Path of Destinies. This is a game all about choice. You have a lot of split paths that allow you to take different choices and they will have different outcomes. And it really seems like a really cool game. I really love the style as well. So let's go ahead and jump into a new game and see what this is all about. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. The kid was looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid, Renardo told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renardo had to run after him. Looks like we have a rabbit chase. But yeah, uh, it's looking pretty nice so far. It's, um, what? Yeah, our current objective is to protect Peter, which is the little rabbit kid. There will be a narrator. I will try not to talk over him whenever I can. Sometimes I may accidentally. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens called and rushed at him. Yeah, you just called yourself ugly, buddy. Oh well, we can just uh, attack with axe. Speaks for itself pretty much, but it's pretty fluent. And uh, we can also counter, so if we... Uh, We'll, we'll show it off here. If we um, do it like right as one of them has like this exclamation mark above their head, then turn towards them and press X. And uh, yeah, it's pretty smooth flowing combat. Drop I like it. flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Yeah, hopefully they haven't. Okay, and now uh, we can also grab and actually throw them off. So if we hold X, we can throw them off the map like that, which is pretty neat. Bye bye. And there we go. Oh, right. The Gate of Heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm going to steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere, and neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? Yeah, all idiots have guts. It's inside of our bodies. But yeah, he, he has guts, although, you know, Bravery or stupidity, sometimes the two can get confusing. Wind essence? Perfect. So yeah, you can collect uh, equipment and then you can craft things. So we have enough to upgrade and we have our hero sword now. Uh, so you have four different swords and they will have uh, different special characteristics. Special abilities, I suppose. Uh, but for now, we only have the hero sword. We can't really do anything else. 
Now, one thing that we know about the Hero Sword... This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this one of course can open that door as we learned. Um, so yeah, that's pretty neat. But we need to chase it up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Q, said Renardo. Ah, oh, ravens. More ravens. Fine, we'll just take you guys out really quickly then. If you guys want to be all annoying and die that badly, I will oblige. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. He'd done it. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. So yeah, we have these altars that will allow us to use skills. Basically, it's a skill tree. You can see information and how much you have to spend. For now, we pretty much have to uh, buy this one. Starting to come back so yeah, to we can hook onto completely forgot, posts. Like how to and, time um, we can also pull enemies towards fought, us. But yeah, just across remember. like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, really. Very smooth, very quick. And there we go. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman had told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye. Ah, the kid. Why would he run away like that? Okay, um, let's stay out of this goggler's eye beam wrench. Then he turns around, and now we can attack it in the back. And in the inside of it looks like a meat slab. That's uh, pretty funny. Okay, let's look over at the kid then. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Yeah, screw home and screw you, kid-sized pile of ashes. You're the cause of all of this. Now, uh, we can break these boxes. It doesn't look like they have anything inside them at all, though. Oh, yeah, they do. It's just... Oh, yeah, it's some more. Okay, I'll gladly take that. Might use it for crafting later. Let's uh, smash all of these then, because some of them might have something for me. And it only takes a few seconds anyway. Yeah, there we go, more ore. I'm gonna ignore that health because I already have full health. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base, and we'll spare your life! It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. 
Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renato could bring a game changer. Maybe he could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. So, this is the first moment where you make a choice, so at certain points in the game there will be a choice like this in the book, where you have, well, two options, I'm not sure if there will ever be more, I think it's just two, um, and yeah, you have different things, so we can either go and see if we can rescue our friend, or we can get this legendary weapon. Um, you know what? Let's help our friend. Let's help this uh, another bunny. You know, we already failed at saving one bunny. Let's at least make sure that we save the next one. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? Yep, so uh, we're starting chapter one rabbit season now. Although I am assuming that if you go with the other choice, you get like a different chapter name, if of course. I craft a sword now. It's gonna be really short. Um, also, if you can hear meowing in the background, I'm sorry, my cat is acting a little bit crazy at the moment. I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't think we can do anything with the workbench. I don't think we have enough to do any gems or anything. Um, yeah, no, see, we don't have any gems, so, yeah, we can't do anything of that, and I don't think, yeah, we still need, uh, like, 21 more ore until we can upgrade, so, yeah, for now, we'll, uh, have to leave that workbench, and we'll just have to continue along the path, and then we can use this transporter pad. This is quite the view, he thought. It is indeed quite the view. I like this bat. Oh, there's more ravens down there. Can't get me anyway. Ha 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 ha. I'm way above you guys. Na 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 na. The ravens had taken the town. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. <sighs> Renato's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. I hope so too, but I'm not counting on it. So here you have uh, another gate, but we have the wrong sword. So you need, need like the fire sword for that one. So that's where the different swords come into play. But yeah, for now we can't do anything with that, obviously. So we'll just have to follow this pot instead. Uh, we don't have, we can use the altar, but unless there's like a green exclamation mark in front of it, you generally don't have any skill points to spend. So you don't have to bother with it. So that's quite useful. You don't have to go into the actual menu to see if you could possibly craft something. It basically just shows you already. Anyway, let's open this door because this is a door that we can go through. And go down the path. Don't we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? Yeah, no way I'm letting you guys attack. One thing I have to say is that it is relatively easy, the game. Um, I never really feel like I'm gonna die, and right as I say that, I get hit. 
but still, you know, like it is right at the Ravens easy. were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? But yeah, right as I said, I like get hit, of course. But still, you know, it the combat is very smooth and fluid, which is nice, so you know, but sometimes it does make the combat a little bit too easy and I don't necessarily mind though. I I don't always feel that games have to be difficult to be fun. It was good to practice your moves, thought Renardo. Keeps you limber. So, oh hey. Well hello there, treasure chest. Fancy meeting you over here. Let me just plunder your contents. Oh, we got a water essence. I'm assuming that's something that we'll need for the water sword. Uh, okay, also we can get a new skill now. So let's uh, use the altar. And we can unlock the dash. It was starting to come back to him. Something you've never so we can now dash like, like that. And you see at the bottom we have those two bars. Those are basically our dash stamina bar. So if that runs out... Um, that's when we won't be able to dash anymore. Let's take you out. Yep. One by one. Very easy. Especially if those others are just standing around doing nothing. That that works for me, buddies. That 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 really does work for me though. Yeah, not even trying to attack me. What a bunch of pushovers. Let's just keep going then. Renato felt a chill run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Yep, let's open this next door now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have fleas. That would be pretty bad. Uh, okay, we don't have skills. And there's another door there. A purple one. We obviously can't really get through that one either. Um, so we'll just have to continue along the path. And defeat some more ravens. Sure, why not? Oh, you, you tried to attack me? I'll just counter you then, buddy. I'll just counter the heck out of you. Renato had learned so much about... What was it again? Now, I know we could walk back to that altar, but I don't really care enough. I'll just do it next time I come across one. But hey, looks like we have found our little rabbit friend. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. But that choice is something that I will leave be, because I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. But the game really does look good. I am re really enjoyed what I've played so far and I'm excited to play some more of it on my own time as well. Uh, if you are interested in the game yourself, I will leave a link to the Steam page down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself and see what choices you can make, what consequences will they have. I, I think it will be fun to figure that out. Anyway, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can subscribe to my channel down below as well. And I will see you all next time for some more Let's Plays and stuff like that. Bye bye.